Hello, my name is Ramo Krause. I'm head of product management at Ravenol. This is my colleague Alexander Nietzsche from product development. Today we'll be explaining a bit about our revolutionary new USVO technology in relation to our motorbike products. Alexander, what does USVO actually mean? I know it stands for ultra-strong viscosity oil, but what's so special about it? It's special because we've only used high-quality and fully synthetic base oils in the formulation of these oils and have not used any polymer-based VI improvers wherever possible in order to make the oil as stable as possible. This helps to keep the shear loss and the associated viscosity loss as low as possible. I've now learned that the USVO technology also has a high oxidation stability. So is this particularly important specifically for motorbike oils? Exactly. So it's precisely because the performance characteristics of motorbikes are so very high that the oil is exposed, unlike with car engines, to significantly higher loads. And this, of course, leads to heavier oxidation. And it's this increased oxidation stability, combined with other positive characteristics of USVO technology, that make it so well-suited to motorbike use. So how do the Ravenol USVO motorbike products differ from conventional motorbike oils? It depends which conventional motorbike oils we're talking about. So if we look at this group of unbranded products or hardware store products that are sold under a store's own brand name or that are completely unbranded. These have the problem of containing cheap base oils with additives that aren't as suitable for use in motorbikes. And it's also been found that in some cases, car engine oils have been sold as motorbike oils. And there are major performance differences even with the high-quality manufacturers or the well-known manufacturers. And anyone who rides a motorbike themselves will know that it makes a difference whether they're riding a company X or a company Y. But lots of people think that choosing the right oil is somewhat a question of faith. I can only say that it's often a bit of fallacy because there are actually performance indicators you can look at to see that the oil is really of a good quality. With our USVO range, we are, of course, trying to offer the best performance possible. And it goes without saying that this should be felt on the bike too. And what do I need to pay special attention to with engine oils? Just like with car engines, it's important to make sure you're using the right viscosity class with motorbikes. This means that if a 10W50 is prescribed for my motorbike, I shouldn't ride it with a 10W30 or a 5W30. I should stick to what the manufacturer recommends. And another important thing to consider, there's a standardization organization for motorbikes. The oils are actually all standardized by an organization in Japan called JSO. And JSO also issues approvals for products. We've received an approval from JSO for our USVO products for the specification JSO MA2. This means that JSO has confirmed that our products are extremely well suited for use in the most common motorbike engines. And there are so many comparison tests online, and everyone wants to have found the best oil. What do I need to watch out for in particular? Exactly. So I'll say the following about the comparison tests. In order to rank them correctly and objectively, you need to first and foremost make sure that the tests are performed in modern laboratories and to modern standards. So it's extremely important and necessary to test the various oils against one another. But like I said, you need to pay attention to how the tests were conducted. For our Ravenol Racing 4T Motorbike 10W40, we carried out laboratory tests and comparison tests with other products, and our products came out well on top, whether that was for MRV viscosity, shear stability, or under full load in VKA. You previously mentioned that motorbikes have one and a half times the power per liter of cubic capacity compared to conventional passenger car engines. So what actually happens with motorbike oil under full load? The following things primarily happen to motorbike engine oil at full load. Temperatures of up to 350 degrees Celsius can sometimes occur, and the high speeds in a motorbike engine mean there's of course a mechanical stress on the oil, so the friction point between the piston and the cylinder wall in particular is subjected to extreme stresses. This means both that the oil ages more quickly, so particularly due to the high temperatures, and the viscosity loss also increases due to the shear load. With our USVO products, we're trying to counteract both of these issues. On the one hand, we use a high-quality base oil to get to grips with the oxidation. So we simply use base oils that are much more oxidation-stable. And we use more stable VI improvers, or ideally none at all, in order to get a better handle on the shear loss that's caused by riding at full load, for example. This becomes even more important when you look at racing applications or the racing track in general, 
as although the loads here are relatively short-lived compared to road riding, they occur very, very frequently, and the one-off loads on the engine can be very, very high. We already have USVO technology for cars, and now for the motorbike sector too. Why is this? Exactly. We've now extended the USVO technology to the motorbike sector, because as I've mentioned, the lows in this sector are significantly higher than in the passenger car sector. This means that the USVO technology is perfectly suited to handle the high loads in the motorbike sector, and particularly in racing. And just like with the passenger car USVO products, we primarily use high-viscosity fully synthetic base oils from API groups 4 and 5 here too. And we use very high-quality additives as well. And wherever possible, we try to avoid VIs that contain polymers. And where this isn't possible, we use high-quality styrene Dean star polymers, which are just a lot more stable and give the oil a longer service life. What's the difference between these star polymers and conventional polymers? The polymer molecule has a different shape. This means that it's also made up of different components, but it's the shape in particular that's different. The interconnection and shape mean that they don't break down so easily due to shearing. So, for example, the classic conventional OCP polymers that are still used a lot are very long chains with very wide branches that can break down really quickly under shear load. They can imagine it as though they were literally breaking apart. The star polymers that we use in the USVO technology, on the other hand, are significantly more stable. They have a round shape, which allows them to withstand much higher pressure loads. And they don't break down as quickly in the high load situation of a motorbike engine. This keeps the oil viscosity stable for longer, which also allows for longer oil change intervals. This means that USVO motorbike products are PAO-based lubricants. What's the benefit of this? That's right. They're PAO-based lubricants, and this applies to all the products in the series. And the primary benefit of the PAO-based lubricants is their low friction value. This actually leads to fuel savings of up to 1%. The PAOs are also characterized by their very low evaporation loss. We call this the NOAC value in the laboratory. This means that less oil can evaporate while the engine is running. So the lower the NOAC value, the better this loss factor. And if this loss factor is particularly low, you can be sure that less oil will be lost, and less oil will need to be topped up. This means that you simply don't need to top up the oil anymore with USVO products. Another important aspect is the oxidation stability. We already talked about this earlier. The high outputs in the motorbike sector mean that it's particularly important for these oils to have very, very good oxidation stability. The PAOs do just that. They are very stable and oxidize very, very slowly. The last important point would be that the PAO-based lubricants also improve the general low temperature properties of the oils, i.e., the motorbike simply performs better on cold starts. For example, the pore point that indicates where the oil starts to solidify is much lower with PAOs than with mineral base oils. This is always a good indicator. A particularly low pore point in a product is a targeted indication that the oil is a synthetic base oil. All in all, the benefits of the Ravenol USV motorbike products can simply be summarized in three points. Better engine wear protection, longer oil change intervals, and faster acceleration. Thank you, Alexander, for the very clear explanation. If you have any other questions, just contact the Ravenol team. The contact info can be found in the info box. Ravenol, the lifeblood of your car.